guys, it's Lori with Mixed Nutty 4.1, and with us today we've got Christina from Amadazzle, and uh, she's going to show us how to do some really amazing makeup for Halloween. So, uh, what do you say we get started? All right, Christina, what are we going to paint today, or what are you going to paint on me today? <laughs> I'm going to start with um, a very pretty girl design, butterfly, basic butterfly, but it can be adapted to any costume that you have. You just change your colors, you just find the colors that uh, match your... Uh, costume and start and do this and I'll do two different sides to this to show how it can work okay first thing I'm going to do is just put some some white right in a butterfly wing shape and I go ahead and paint the whole wing shape just like that there we go and the other side I'm going to do the same thing Yes, I'm doing it with the other hand. <laughs> now, you don't have to do it with the other hand. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Now, Christina, on this makeup, tell us about the different types of makeup uh, people at home can use. Uh, the best thing you can do is go to one of the local craft stores, like uh, I would say Michael's or Hobby Lobby. They will have some uh, things labeled face paint. Um, I know Michael's does. They have uh, some good face paints there. Um, what you don't want to do is use something like with acrylics in it or anything that's not labeled face paint because even, even if it says non-toxic, that doesn't mean that it won't cause reactions to your face. So uh, professional face painters use specific products made just for this. So Okay, next on this side, I'm going to put some pink right in here. And what you can, you can use the latex makeup sponges like you can find in the uh, in the store but that's fine that'll work um, then on the other side I'm going to make the other side a blue because I know we're going to have a lot of frozen princesses out there this year <laughs> popular movie mm -hmm. and what I do is put the color I want and then Turn the sponge around to the dry side and blend it into the white, just like that. There we go. Same thing here. Now, right. doing the face painting is a good way to go, isn't it? Because I mean, I know my kid can't stand to have anything covering his face. Oh, I know. I see uh, lots of Spider-Man walking around without their hoods on. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's actually safer. Um, you can see better, and. Um, it's, it's more comfortable because if you get good makeup, you don't feel it. It's, it's, uh, it just sits there and it disappears and it looks great without being uncomfortable. Alright, so now on this side, I'm going to turn you this way. I'm going to use black to outline this one for good contrast. And I'll just do a butterfly swoop. And some little loops and curls on the side. Then right here, I'll pull that down and make it a nice swallow wing kind of thing. Another couple of things like that. And you might want to have a, a little body on the nose and some antenna. Now what you can do to this, that's pretty much your basic design. What you can do to this then, if you've got some uh, extra things you want to do to it, you can put jewels on this if you want to, like stick on jewels. Um, you can do just like I'm going to do here, just some white dots, some little dots on the wings, like that, maybe some right in there, right there, and there you have on that side, a pretty pink butterfly wing to go with a fairy design, fairy costume. Uh, now on the other side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline this side with white. I'm going to pull back the hair there a little bit. And I'll just show you the difference it can make to just change one thing about the design. So, if I'm outlining with white, 
white. It makes a whole different character to the butterfly. Now we're getting squishy in there, but now this one could be used if you're going to have a frozen princess. outline with white. It's a softer, more feminine kind of design. And here, if you've got some makeup glitter, you have to use makeup glitter. You can't use craft glitter. Um, cosmetic glitter is um, made with polyester and the corners are curved or rounded. And craft glitter is often made of metals and has sharp corners. So here, if we do the same kind of thing, the old blue drippy. Sorry about that. Now I need a baby wipe. <laughs> Actually, I can just use this. I'll fix that for you. If it does that, a lot of times um, kids will have watery eyes because you're working right around their eyes. Um, and you just fix it and go back and do it again. That's the thing about face paint as opposed to tattoos. You can change your mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I do face paint and not tattoos. Okay. So, there we have a pretty white frozen butterfly kind of design right there that kids will, little girls will love to go with their frozen outfits. So, Oh, you might how does it see, look? <laughs> you might want to see what you look like. There you go. Oh, here. There you go. There. That is pretty cool. Well, Christina, thank you so much for showing us how to do this. You're Isn't welcome. that amazing? That's amazing. <laughs> well, keep checking out our YouTube channel for more videos on how-tos and all sorts of strange stuff that we come up with.